guys, it's Pretty Meister here, and today it is the weekly roundup. Today is also New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year to anyone in Australia who it's already January. And knowing my internet, probably going to be me as well by the time this is uploaded. So yeah, Happy New Year to everyone that's not New Year yet, but yeah. I'm just going to stop digging myself a hole here. Anyway, I came to do my agility and I sort of brought the wrong aura, but it's okay because I need to get 1.6k XP anyway. But you know, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Your little friend can't make a, you know, a chat about. I only got 1k XP to go anyway, so I thought, you know, I'd just film that. Other other news. Uh, I had I showed you I'd done nomads. Oh, great, I failed that. I showed you I'd done nomads already. I did that the other day. Uh, finished recipe for disaster, which also means, oh yes, I did desert treasure. So now I've got the Barry's gloves, and I'm up to 185 quest points, which is. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking that that's a fair amount right there. So if you, if you look back to where I was like a month ago, a month ago, well, it was probably a bit more than a month ago, I was using a whip, a regen bracelet, and an attack cape, yeah? Uh, nowadays, I'm using a rapier, Barry's gloves, oh, and I was using ultimate strength, rapier, Barry's gloves, soul wars cape, and piety rather than ultimate strength. <laughs> so yeah, that's much better. Don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking that's a, a huge improvement. Absolutely massive. Only a couple more things to do now. Get my second chaotic and obviously 85 for Frost Dragons. So I can make some decent income. Also, up to 15 mil cash pile. And I also have a BCP in the bank. I've had some uh, I've had some pretty decent luck at uh, uh I haven't know what they're called. DK's Bandos. I had a few BCP well BCP drop a couple of days ago. I uh, went to DK's and I had like four Berserker Ring drops. Oh, great, I failed again. Four Berserker Rings, like a couple of Arch Rings, and a few uh, D hatches and stuff. And I currently got them on my Slayer, so I've got 115 left. So I've been I've been going there, I've been duoing them. I actually was going to make like a little duo commentary thing there today, but you know, I didn't really fancy the effort of opening up the uh, Skype recording program, so I sort of just didn't. Um, so yeah, that's that's why there's not a DK's live commentary. I might do one when I go back and finish my Slayer task off later. But you never know. I've been that powered through the XP. Got so much XP for that. I um, don't know how many kills we got in total this trip, but uh, I definitely got I got 85 knocked off my Slayer. I got 105 left, and I got 200 exactly assigned. Which I don't know if that's a long task for Dagonoffs or not, but it's how much I was assigned. <laughs> anyway, so I did. I went there, I did, I got 85 kills of worth that count towards Slayer, and, um, well, we got practically no drops, we got, in the entire trip there, we got, well actually, we got a load of drops, I got rock shell plate legs, I got two archer's helms, he got one archer helm and a fear farcia helm, <laughs> we got a ring of life, which is as rare as all the other rings, and our only decent drop was dragon hatchet, which loot shared and went to him, but, I went away with a mil worth of um, water talents, which is like 5k each now, so I went away with 180 of them. Oh, I really, I just failed that obstacle. This XP has taken longer than I was expecting. It's okay, because I should do it, hopefully, on the, the next one. Yeah, this one here, right here. It's about to level up agility. Come on. There we are, 61 agility. 1939 total. Yeah. I uh, can now access the Slayer Tower medium spiked chain, and it's one of the requirements for Curse of a Rav, which if I look at Curse of a Rav, wherever that is, uh, take filter off, it's going to be under, like, experience, isn't it? C -c 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 Curse of a Rav. Here we are. I just need to do all that. Yeah, fully restored, seal instant from me. Tale of Masapa. There, there. Basically, I just need to do that, and then... There we are. Just need to do Curse for Rav and 125 kudos from Varak Museum. I don't really know how much 125 kudos actually is, but I've got like 50 at the moment, so... <laughs> it's obviously more than I've got. Anyway, what else am I going to chat about? Uh, Rune crafting. Yeah, I haven't done much room crafting. I sort of got bored of doing Daily Wicked Hood. But like farm runs, I got a bit bored of doing farm runs as well. Uh, yeah, I've done that last time. <laughs> Other than that, so yeah, I've basically just been going to bosses. Did a bit of Slayer. Sold my Slayer tab as well. That's how I got so much moolah. I had like 
two mil of bones, just dragon bones in there, a mil of the bandos, I don't know what they're called, bandos bones, I had a mil of them, which is pretty good, and I had, my, obviously, my god sword shard, um, a whole load of Dagonoff bones, and some other miscellaneous junk, um, uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's one, leveled up herbal, I decided to take the, uh, the 70k extra XP I had left, and level up herbal, which in turn has now basically, um, uh, oh yeah, that's the one, it means I only have to get a plus 4 boost to make some extreme attacks, so that's what I'm going to be doing after I get bored of doing agility, so I'm going to be going to Eagle Bob, getting a whole load of brown spice, and I'm going to make a pile of extreme attack potions. Uh, it also means I only have to get a plus one boost to make super anti-fires, which is a uh, pretty cheap XP, I think. It's like, I don't know, it'll only cost me one mil for 100k XP, uh, 10 mil for a mil XP, so... Yeah, I only need to get to 85, 300k, so... Three mil. Three mil to get to 85, making super anti-fires. But what I really need is 88, so... 88 is... Set level target, come on. 80, actually, if I go 87, then I can just do the plus 2 boost and get extra, well, both the extremes that I need. So, it's 10 mil, and then I'll be there in extremes. I think it's, it's approximately 10 GP and XP or something like that, so that's pretty good. And I can make it just a pile of extremes, and hopefully the extremes I'm making will uh, level me up to 88 anyway, and then I'll be, they'll be all good to go. I probably don't even need to get all the way to 87, I could probably just stick it like 86 and just do the plus 2 boost to get extreme attacks and then go for a plus 3 with the uh, uh, I don't know what's called spicy stew so yeah I'm, I'm almost there I'm on, I'm on the verge of extremes now of Herblore and as I said I got uh, 15 mil cash stack so probably just not going to do Herb. I'm going to hold off on the Herblore yet get tacits to go in my BCP first and then then I'll be doing the Herblore and I am not very good at this agility. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This was the oh ooh ooh no 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 this is not the end no. I had a new headset. Uh, with some of my money I got for Christmas, I decided to get a new headset because my old one was quite old and it got all worn and they were making a funny buzzing noise and yes yeah, so I got this new one and hopefully audio quality is better as well because it's newer and more up to date. I was using. Turtle Beach X51s before, and now I have the uh, the Rockat Cave thing because uh, well, Rune Sharks videos they they sound good, and I got recommended to it by a couple of other people, and I read all like the reviews online and it seemed pretty good, and I got a tenner off as well, so yeah, 59 quid. It's about that's pretty good actually, isn't it? Anyway, uh, that really is the end now, honestly, and thanks for watching. Bye.